What's up, super players? It's your host, Tony G. Check out Popo's Kitchen for those super deals. Just use super players at checkout for that super discount. What's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with your host Tony G. And before I start, I want to give um, our viewers a heads up. We're giving out our Ultra, or we're giving out Ultra Instinct Playmat Goku right here, courtesy of Popo's Kitchen. Once we hit 3,500 subscribers, we're going to raffle this out. If you want to purchase it from Popo's Kitchen, you can use super players code to get that discount. So. Now, let's get ready to the deck profile. The most OP leader, I think, of the new set. We're running the man with the plan, sell himself. And the crazy effect about what makes this leader broken, at least I think, and everybody in the tournament was thinking, because all I saw were sales, was the fact that once per turn, you can put one of your cards into under this guy. And he pops anything that's three or less. Anything that runs evolving is gone. Or those reliant cards like Kaba, gone. Just like that. And when you evolve him, you still keep the cards under him. And then if you want to use the effect once per turn, you can use both. You can either put one card under him and draw two cards. Or detach the two if you have to already. And pop any battle card out there. So any of those problematic cards, those... Big beast monsters like those Broly's, Beerus's, anything, gone. Just like that with his effect. And let's get into the deck already. So we're running level 1 Cell. The one that absorbs everybody, all humans, in the Dragon Ball Z world. And we run 4 of those guys. 2, 4. And once you put 17 under him, you do the crazy effect of Union Absorb. You pop, wait, when you use them, you draw one card and you pop one of your opponent's battle cards. Pretty broken effect. And if you want to go even further, we run four of them. This beautiful, perfect force cell. Once you use Union Absorb with Android 18, if your opponent runs those cards that they like to draw a lot, like Trunks, Vegeta, Champa, this card is the easy out to their oh, um, crazy amount of cards in their hand brings them back or brings them down to three so it limits the resources we run three of those guys and the guy himself dr Giro, terrible creator of android 20 or te terrible creator android 20 this guy is so op you can search out any of the androids you need i think he's a very crucial card for any of those decks that run sale so you can get your androids so we run four of them and let's not forget the Androids themselves. Angry Noob's favorite, most OP character he loves to use in any of his games. Twin uh, brother Android 17. We run three of them. And how he says, Beatty, we have Android 18 right here. We run three of them. And the card that will pretty much save your hand from diminishing if you happen to bring him out, this guy, when he attacks a leader, you draw up to four cards or you keep your hand up to four so if you continue to use the effect don't worry use him bring up those cards back to your hand and we run two of them exterminating android 18 <clears throat> double strike cool effect attack the leader they have to drop one of their cards and if you use the effect of dropping any of your hands or any card from your hand use the effect put it back to active and do it one more time you pressure your opponent and then we have Iron Hammer Justice Android 16, awesome ability, he's a revenge character. If you KO a battle card when you use his blocker effect, he goes back to active. So if you want to keep him alive, do it, power him up, KO's a card. We run two of them. And if you're playing a single game in a tournament, I run Kale just to get those tokens out of the way. I don't know, people say they don't run it, people say they do, I run it. I hate those go tank tokens or those chill tokens whatever you deal with perfect out for those cards I only run one and then since cell can't awaken by himself unless your opponent doesn't want to attack and stalls you out you have expert Tian Shinhan this guy what he does you use two energies and you take one energy or I mean one of your life drop it 
Other, you add to your hand. KO a battle card. Self awakening. So you don't need results of training. You don't need that blue engine. So we run three of them. And then we have Trunks Protector of Children. You have to run this card. 10k boost. Get a card. Every color needs it. I think if you don't run it, something's wrong with you. And we run four of them. Perfect negate. Well, not negate, but counterattack. Destroy those cards. Use two energies. Those cards that are OP. Beerus. Those secret rare Vegitos. Pop them. Get rid of them. Only two energies. We run two. And for our blue engine, we run energy boosted Majin Buu just for the draw power or if you're trying to throw out an energy for the blue, we run three of them. Like I said, if you're running a mirror match or if you're trying to get those cards out, those single games, I use Ultimate Jocko just because it saves my butt when I need it and it bounces back any of those cards and they untap one of their energies. Sometimes they go for a game and they don't realize that that's it and then you probably win next round. I run two of them. And then Sensu Bean. Best card, use it, untap, two. Run three. And my favorite card in C-Rod's card, Objection. Use three, I don't need four, because the fourth one I feel like you don't need it, but just to bring out your energy to get those evil cells out. And then the best negate in my opinion, three Wiss's Coercions pump back or place back one of your energies back to active and there you guys have it the perfect layout for the perfect deck for the perfect life for himself so if you like this type of video comment like and subscribe don't forget about the giveaway we'll have the description down below for the old video and from your host tony g and c rod y'all stay super